Now in our sixth year, this is GabNet, the great American broadcast network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Tonight on the East Coast of the United States and all around the world. Ladies and gentlemen, the face you see before you. Yeah, wave at him. That's Steve Kravitz. I love talking to Steve because there's so much to talk about with Steve. You know. <laughs> and, and, and and before we went on, uh, he was just saying how boring it is. What what it, what 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 you have malaise today? Uh, yeah, I have the fuck it. Mm-hmm. The COVID fuck it. I'm so over COVID. I can tell you, I don't even want to hear another word about it. <laughs> I just want it to be in the background. You know what they did here in New York today? They announced they're opening everything up on July 1st. Is that right? Even yeah. Broadway? Uh, no. That's the one exception. Now, how do you make that one exception? What? You're going to let him go to movie theaters and see a Marvel movie rather than see Hamilton? You know, come right. on. Come on. Yeah, why is that? That doesn't make sense. Be I don't know. It doesn't make sense to me either. They said that it, the fall they'll reopen the uh, the Broadway theaters. What? You know, uh, they're the same. They're the same physically as a movie theater. Right. 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 Except right, maybe right. the except maybe the seats are a little cramped. I don't know if you how late you know how often you went to Broadway, but man, those seats. Are killers. They're like, they're made for little people. It made for they were made for two uh, nineteen hundred audiences. Right, My, uh, like Fenway Park. Yeah, when people were smaller. Fenway. Okay, man. It, but uh, uh, I just don't understand why that that exception. You know. Well, first of all, a movie. Mm -hmm. You know, you pay so much, you put it up on the screen. Whereas in the theater, you have all these stage people. You have stage hands. You have lighting people you have makeup people you have wardrobe you have and then you have the cast that you have to pay so maybe it's just not cost effective if they can only put in one third of a house okay i agree with you that it takes a lot of people to put on a, on, on a broadway play or musical all right? right that that i will give you all right but you go to a movie theater there are people running the snack bar there are people running the uh, janitorial services i mean you've got you've got the projectionist you've got a whole passel of people too not the same amount right but they're still working very closely with each other so how's that any different than in a theater no i was saying it might not be cost effective uh, how is it not? <laughs> if, if they can only put like say say. It's oh no 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 no! They're not opening it up to a limited amount of people. They're limited. They're opening it up to full capacity. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, because they figure enough people have gotten the, are going to have the shots by then. Right. That it's going to be pretty. It's going to be safer. I was watching a report where, like, people aren't going back for their second shot. They figure 80% is good enough. Well, I mean, why not go back for the second shot? Right. You right. Know? Makes no sense. Hey, if they wanted to give me three shots, I'm there. Right. Of course, then again, I have nothing to do with my miserable life. But, you know, uh, I'm there. You know, so I'm... Time. Mm -hmm. What? I said I can make time for a third shot. Yeah, I think I've got it. On, I think I've got it on my schedule. Uh, what time? Oh, three o'clock. I think I can be there. Yeah, right, 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 right. You it's know. not like my calendar is full. And by the way, I mean I'm an older person, so I'm a, I'm a senior and I don't have a job and whatever. DB, DB, DB. But nevertheless, neither does anybody else. Okay, right. <laughs> so they they can afford to take the time out to get it done. Right. You know, so I, uh, you know, uh, but anyway, so they can open it all up, which means I guess I'll have to go to court now on this apartment thing we've got going here. Oh, so, really? Yeah, they'll probably open up the courts now. 
And uh, in fact, they have. Oh, wait a minute! Wait a minute! Are the movie theaters a hundred percent capacity? That's what I understand. Everything's going to be a hundred percent. You know. Is that in the fall or in the summer also with movie theaters? Uh, uh, this will be as of July 1st. Okay. Now, what I think they should do is to encourage people to get the vaccination is say, yes, it's 100% capacity, but the only people allowed into the movie theater will be people who can prove that they've had their shots. Right, right, right. And that way, you have this whole society of people who are outsiders who want to be insiders who will then do something about it, you know? But instead, everybody's sitting around going, I don't want to get the shot because I'm afraid there's a, there's a, 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 a tracking device. <laughs> You've heard that one, haven't you? I haven't heard that one. In fact, today, what was it? It was, I can't remember, was it here in New York or somewhere where they, oh, it was on, I saw it on Jimmy Kimmel, I think. But there was a, there was a hearing in LA, in the LA area, and some city councilman who asked this doctor, well, uh, is it possible for you to have tracking devices in these, uh, in these vaccines? And the doctor looked back at him, it, it didn't answer him, he had a mask on, and he didn't right. answer him, and he said, well, I, I, do you have an answer for me? And he says, excuse me, I'm still laughing. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Yeah, I mean, this whole whole concept. Uh, there was somebody, some woman I saw on TV yesterday right. who went, uh, "I'm not going to get it till they prove it's okay." Uh, I got news for you: two hundred million people have had this shot. Right, 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 right. right. Where is the massive outbreak? Including me and you. In including me and you. Yeah. And right. I, I don't know about you, I didn't feel a thing. You said you had some after effects or something? I, I was after the first shot, I was really tired the next day. Yeah. And I'm, the second shot, just my arm hurt. Yeah, I'm, I was tired the next day too, but I'm tired all the time. Are you really? Yeah, yeah. I just, I have fati constant fatigue. I don't understand why, but. Part I, of it is the COVID thing, and part of it is you don't get out enough. Well, I'll tell you, I've been getting out. I've been doing some walking. Have you? Yes. Um, uh, you know, and I have neuropathy, so my feet kind of hurt a little bit when I walk. But I, I, have, I have neuropathy in my feet. Yeah. So they hurt when you walk, right? Yes. Yeah. So I, but I've been forcing myself to, on these, on the, what I call these uh, death marches. Uh, ah, uh, uh, nice. Yesterday, yesterday, I went to Columbia University, which is west of me. And what right. I do is I go up to the park is this park and then I they have these stairs and they are hellish stairs that go all the way up to where uh, it's on the level with Columbia University because there's a okay. hill and I walked up those stairs I was holding onto the banister but I walked up all those stairs and I, that was quite a trudge and then okay. I and then I went to Columbia University and came back down then went down the stairs which was just as hard as going up because yeah. there were no banisters and my balance at this age is kind of... Yeah. No, 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 no banisters? No banisters going down. I there couldn't were, have done it. I couldn't have done it. Th I couldn't have gone th down there were, the there, there were these rocks. They had rocks on the side. I had to grab these rocks as I was going down. Either that or I had my hand out towards the rocks in case I was going to fall, but I just looked and walked down. But anyway... But I, I did that whole thing, and I, God, I did, uh, I, I, I have the, this watch, and you f make the rings, uh, it has these rings, and you kind of got to fill them out and everything, and I, I right. did my, my green ring, which is exercising, plus some, so, I, you know, and then the day before, I walked another two miles around really? what we call the Harlem Mirror, yeah, and, you. Uh, uh, you know, but I mean, I'm forcing myself. Literally right. forcing myself because after a year of not doing that, I'm like, God, I, you know, I, for the first couple of times I did it, my back was hurting, everything. I'm finally getting to where oh, the legs aren't hurting that much. Maybe they hurt for right. the first block or two and then right. they're okay, you know. But I mean, it, it, it's just, um, uh, but uh, now that they're going to open everything up, um, I think they should only open it up to people who've had the shots. 
I would feel safe with that. I would feel safe going into a restaurant that was at 100% capacity if everybody in there had shown that they'd gotten a shot. Mm -hmm. I don't know. It's 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 kind of like you know being in Germany and show me your papers. Well, but here here's a similar. Can I give you a similar thing? Sure. You put your kid in school. What do you have to do? You have to. Well, get, I don't know. I've get, never had a kid. Oh well, neither have I. But I've been told you have to have them vaccinated. They have to have all their shots before they can go. They're allowed to go to school. Right, just like a puppy. Yeah, so I mean, <laughs> why, 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 so we're not kids anymore. But why shouldn't it apply to us? You know, I mean, no. it's not a question of show us your papers, okay? It's not like, uh, and we get that. Listen, show us your papers. You get that when you go to the airport. Right. <laughs> you You're know? right. You're you, right. You know, so it, 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 it's you know. But uh, it's, it's crazy, and I just think that if they're going to take care of this, they're going to do this right, they should make, uh, give people an incentive to go out and get those shots because these morons who've got all these excuses why they haven't gotten a shot, you know what? Oh, it's political. They, were, I, they had a thing on the front line of the pandemic all around the world. Very fascinating. Places right. like villages in South America, uh, in the middle of the Amazon, where they got COVID. Right. Okay. And uh, one of the guys they did was a preacher down in Louisiana who refused to not open his church. Okay. And he right. called it, I love this term, a scamdemic. Really? Yeah. Oh, it's all phony. Oh, really? Where did these. 575 million or 575,000 deaths come from? Right. A scandemic? Right, right. Oh, no, right. you know. Right. Well, people don't think things through. No, they really don't. And and they but they, they believe to a point and that's where they stop. Well, it's also there's a selfishness endemic in all of this that I that I really hate. Is the one of the one of the reasons I got the shots was because of my age, and I really don't want to die from this goddamn thing. I, I feel right. that my wife and I dodged the bullet, you know? We stayed right. home. We did what we had to do to make sure we didn't get it, okay, uh, and all of that. But nonetheless, the other reason I did it is for, for the other people around me, you know, and for the people who live in this city. Right. And, and you should want to get it as a patriotic gesture. And, and, well, and it's not a it's not a selfish act. It's a selfless act mm -hmm. to get the shots and to wear a mask. Hey, listen, who likes wearing a mask? Who likes getting a vaccination? Let alone two of them. All right, right. right. Plus but, all the hassles you had to go through to get them. But you do it because it's got to be done. Right. You know, and it, 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 there's never been. I, can you remember in your lifetime? You can't remember anything like this, can you? I mean, no. gay, gays can because AIDS was a factor there with right. in their lives. But outside of AIDS, which didn't affect as many Americans, okay, as this did. Right. Uh, I don't think we even had as many. We didn't have that many deaths with AIDS. It didn't come close. Um, but we've never had anything like this in our lifetime. We've never had to deal with this. Right. I mean, I even think that if today the Spanish flu came along, we'd be taking care of it with antibiotics. Right. You know, the only reason the Spanish flu was so deadly is because we didn't have the medicine to fight it. That's right. That's right. You know. So, I mean, uh, it was the Spanish flu terrible? Yeah, it was horrible. It decimated, uh, how much? About 50 million people on the planet. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah. It was huge. Very popular. Very popular. <laughs> Sold out wherever they went. Yeah. And, you know, I guess I, I guess you, uh, you kind of started this off about I'm tired of talking about COVID. I think right. everybody is. But we got to right. remember it's out there, you know, and it's still out there. Well, like I said, I just wish it would move to the back burner. Well, I think we're getting there. I think we're getting there. But I don't think our lives are going to change. I think our no, lives... No, we're still going to have to wear a mask. No, but I also think our lives have been changed. 
right. don't I don't think we're going to look at a crowded theater in quite the same way we used to. Right, 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 right. We're, we're not going to look at hugging somebody in uh, just promiscuously because hi, how are you? Mm. Right, right, right. You're going to think twice about that. I think we've all been kind of uh, 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 affected by that. And oh our, yeah. And our thinking on it has been, you know, changed. And our actions. Yeah. You know, like you said, hugging. Yeah. So what's the the, what's the first thing you're going to do when it's all open up? When it all opens up. First thing I'm going to do. Probably go to the movies. Really? Yeah. Why? Because I haven't been to the movies in years. Oh well, then you didn't go before. Why go now? <laughs> because now that when I lived in Boulder City, there was no movie theater. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, you're right. There is no. Well, I didn't know there wasn't a movie theater there, but I assume that why would there be a movie theater in Boulder right. City? There's no synagogue either. Let me tell you, folks. He worked. He lived in Boulder City, uh, which is if you don't know what Boulder City is, it's the only city that was really ever built for singular purpose. Right. And that was to build the dam. Right. The Hoover Dam. The Hoover Dam, which later became Boulder Dam, which, I th is it Hoover Dam again, or is it Boulder? I think so. I think so. But anyway, I think when Hoover wasn't present any longer, they called it Boulder Dam. Right, and for then, a while. And then they changed it back, I think, to Hoover Dam. Right. But it was built, that city was just built for the workers who were working on that dam. Right. Which, which took quite a while to build, if, I admit, if I'm right. In fact, do you know right. something, what an interesting fact about Boulder Dam? What's that? Or Hoover Dam, or whatever. Uh, he, the best fact I got when I took the tour of that was that concrete has to cure. In other words, right. it, 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 take, it has to completely set. Okay? Right. Uh, and it cures. So if you do a sidewalk, it takes it maybe a day to cure something, maybe a while. Right. Do you know that the... The concrete in the middle of that dam is still curing. Is that right? There's so much concrete in that thing. Yeah, it's still curing. It may be over with by now, but when I went there, and that was 20 years ago, right? Uh, they they said uh, the concrete hadn't set yet. The concrete hadn't hadn't completely cured in the center of it. They assume wow. they don't go there to look at it. It's not that it's all mushy and everything, but it just hasn't completely dried. Right, 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 yeah. right, right, right. See, you can still put your initials in it. See, folks, if you felt that watching this program was a total waste of time, you just got your money's worth. Yeah, you just got your fun fact of the week. But anyway, so you lived in this town that was built for a single purpose. Right. And it was not to house Steve Kravitz. No, it was not. <laughs> How did you wind up there? I mean, why there? Because it was the cheapest place you could find? Right, and it was a bigger place, and I was moving out of a studio, and I needed to get out of L.A. because L.A. just wasn't, yeah. was a little toxic for me. So I, I chose, I didn't want to go into uh, Vegas proper, so I, I picked Boulder City because, A, I could get an apartment twice the size, three times the size I was living in for less money. How much money were you paying for rent in Boulder City? For a two bedroom, I was paying eight sixty. Wow, that's you know you say we're just paying eight sixty. I remember when I used to get an apartment for one hundred and twenty five a month. You know, I got an apartment, Alex, my sophomore year of high, of college, yeah. fifty dollars a month. Why don't we just you know what I never could figure out? Why don't we just cut everything, the prices of everything in half? Just cut it in half. It's all even, and and your pay and everything, you know, right. to just right. bring the dollar value back. Because when I say one hundred and twenty-five dollars, I'm they say, oh, you're just an old man and you're grousing about when I was a boy. I only paid one hundred and twenty-five dollars. Right, right, well, right. the fact was that one hundred and twenty-five dollars was still as I also only made one hundred and twenty-five dollars right. a week, um, right. a, a, a month rather, or a week. Right. What did I make? I can't remember now. But anyway, uh, yeah, a week. Uh, so, you know, I mean, and that was good money back then. You made $5,000. Right. My father never made more than $5,000 a year in his lifetime. Really? And we lived a good middle-class family. You sure. Know, 
We had a good middle class life. The house I grew up in cost seventeen thousand dollars. Oh, mine, the one I grew up in in, in Marin County, my parents bought for nine thousand. Really? Yeah, and it was a huge house. In Marin. Yeah. Yep. Wow. When my mother left, she wow. so, when my mother left it, she sold it for, I think somewhere like about. Fifty thousand dollars, and she thought she right. was really doing great. Okay, right. Then I told her, "Don't sell it. I'll I'll keep paying, you know, I'll keep paying the bill on it." Right. And she wouldn't. No, I want to sell it. I want the money. Your uncle, uh, uh, your uncle Lou says I should sell it. Okay, right. Go sell. It. Two years later, there was this boom in Marin County. Right. That place became worth three hundred and fifty thousand dollars. Oh, I'm sure. Yeah. I'm sure. I'm yeah. still getting over the $9,000 for the original price. <laughs> yeah, and my parents, my father, parents were paying, I think, $35 a month on the loan. Ay, 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 ay. <laughs> but he was only making $5,000 a year. Right. So when you Probably. when you think about how much that is over a given year, it's it's a nice chunk out of that five thousand. Right, 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 right. What's it supposed to be like? One week's rent. Uh, uh, one week, one, 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 one paycheck. One paycheck. Well, one, one, one week's one week's pay. Hey, it's should, supposed to cover your rent. It should cover your rent. Yeah. Right. Or your house payment or whatever. Whatever yeah. it is. God, those were the good old days, but you know, I mean, and now I'm this apartment. If we finally ever settle it, I'll probably be paying twenty two hundred dollars a month. I bet, oh, yeah. at least. And there are people in this building paying seven thousand dollars a month. Okay. Really? Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. It's uh, it's 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 not that it, you know. But what the hell, you know? I I am. Uh, times are what they are. Right. You know. Right. Must be a nice building. Yeah. Remember the old days when you got your telephone for free? Oh yeah. <laughs> I remember having a party line. Oh, party lines. Tell them about party lines. Explain it to the people out there who don't know what a party well, a line. Party is. line would be like if my family and Alex's family both shared a phone, but we're at different addresses. Yeah. We have the same phone number. Yeah. So, in other words, I could pick it up and Alex would be on the phone talking to one of his friends, or I could pick, or he could pick it up while I'm talking to one of my friends. It's just. Right. It isn't the same privacy you had. But I think that was what you got a party line because it was cheaper than getting just a non party right. line. Right. A non party line probably cost you twice as much as a party line. So that you would pick up the phone, folks, and there'd be somebody else talking on it. So you'd have to hang up, check back a little bit later, see if it was right. free and you got a dial tone. If you got a dial tone, great. If you didn't, the guys are still talking. After a while, I think he usually said, Do you mind? I really have to use this line. Right, 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 you right. Know, I've right. been waiting for a half hour here. Why don't you wrap it up? Right. You know. Then right. they would say something nasty back to you, and, uh, you know. And that would be that. Yeah. The good old days, folks, that's what we're talking about. Two old fart. Well, you're, an, you're, you're younger than I am. You're a kid. Yeah, at 65. At 65, you're a kid. To me, you're a kid. Well. You're 15, 16 years younger than I am. You know? And I look twice as good. Oh, <laughs> I, I kind of feel I'm like, um, you remember in uh, Raiders of the Lost Ark when the guy opens up the ark and all of a sudden this thing comes out and his face turns into wax melting? Right, right, that's right. What right. I, that's what I feel I'm, I'm like halfway in the stage of. Yeah. You know? My, yeah. My face uh -huh. is just kind of melting. Well, I'm, I'm kind of upset with the pot belly I've developed. Well, that, that, that goes with the territory, but the nose, my nose is fatter than it's ever been. Well, Alex, the two parts of your body that never stop growing, ever, are your nose and your ears. Oh, Soon okay. you'll look like Mr. Potato Head. <laughs> yeah, but anyway, so I don't know. I mean, I've gained a little weight since the 
the, you know, the whole COVID thing. So have you, you said you got a pot belly. So. Yeah. Yeah, we just got to go work out. But what, that's, that's, that's too much trouble. You know, yeah, and what, yeah, yeah. what am I doing it for? Am I, do I need to get laid? I don't think so. Right. You know, right, right, right. You know, I just do it so my wife won't say, you know, you really should hang off some weight. Right, 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 right. Or your doctor. Although she says now, she, I said, do I look fat to you? And she said, no. no. She said, you, you, you're, you're keeping most of what you lost off. Right. But I've right, gained some right. of it back, and my face is a little rounder than it was. And I, I, I don't, I'm not happy with that. But. That's what I've noticed in me is my cheeks are a lot heavier than they used to be. Yeah, yeah. Hey, listen. You know what, what? We've run out of time. Oh, goodness. We've been talking here for quite a bit. And I love talking to you. Yeah, me we, too, you. Can we do it again next week? Yeah, on Wednesday? Well, well, I'll talk to you right after we're through here. Okay. Wave goodbye to everybody, Steve Kravitz. There he goes. Bye-bye. Okay. Thanks for listening. Bye-bye. Now in our sixth year, this is GabNet, the great American broadcast network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Ah, uh, yes, okay, I love, St- I, I, I love Stephen uh, Kravitz, I really do. I, you know, he is so intelligent, and he's so much fun to talk to. I got a, a note from uh, Schmoody who said, no hat. You know something, I, I don't like the way I look right now without a hat. I don't know, maybe if I get the facelift and all of that, but I just, you know, uh, maybe I'll take it off during the show. I, I, I don't know. I'm still dealing with that. Listen, I got a little hint for you. Um, Here's something that we've been waiting for. How do you use your iPhone, okay? Uh, How do you use your iPhone uh, when you've got a mask on? (laughs) Kathleen just wrote, oh, my God. Okay, you've seen me like this before. No, What, 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 you want that? I don't know. Tonight I feel like having a hat on. Some nights I won't wear a hat, okay? Anyway, you know, with the masks on, you have a hard time for your facial recognition on your phone, your iPhone, to be able to tell who you are. But now they've solved it, okay? So what you do is you you go to um, your um, your settings. Okay, wait a minute. See, you know, settings there. And then there's a thing called Face ID. And, uh, well, wait a minute. Hold on a second. I don't want to. Here we go. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. There we go. And then you bring up uh, under under face settings and so on that, that. And then you go down, and there's a thing that says Apple Watch. You see that? It says Alex's Apple Watch. And you turn that on. Okay, so now what happens is, let's say uh, I'm going to, like, t- I'm going to turn this off now, and I will pretend, okay, like I have a mask on. All right? Watch this. Wait a minute. Oh, hold on a second. Wait a minute. Hold on. Hold on. There we go. Now watch this. Oh, well, now it's not going to do it. Okay. Well, there, 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 it did it. It did it. Okay. See, it turned the, the lock undone. What happens is, and then on your watch it says, iPhone unlocking with this Apple Watch. So what happens is, you can have a mask on. And if you turn your phone on, it doesn't care whether you're wearing a mask or not. It cares whether your watch says it's you. So, that's it. Is that simple enough? You know, I've got my, uh, there we go. I want to bring myself down a little bit. Ah, yeah. But anyway, if you have an iPhone and you have an iWatch or an Apple Watch, um, you can use the watch to identify you even if you're wearing a mask. Does that make sense? Okay. Here, I'll do it once again. I'll turn it off. Okay. I'll do it. Okay. Uh-huh. Huh? Huh? And it turned it on. See? Isn't that amazing? So uh, just a little something for you. If you've got an iPhone, 
uh, one of the th problems. But they solved it a little late because today we got word that New York City is going to be, well, we got it yesterday, that New York City is going to be opening uh, uh, as usual for business finally on July 1st. Uh, so maybe we don't need masks any longer. Uh, but in any event, the better later than never. But I wondered when they were going to solve that problem, and they just solved it. Well, let's go talk to our people out there. Here we go. Here come the people. Here come the people. Here they come. Let's see here. Are they all? Uh, oh, I've got to do this. Okay. I've got to change my view so that it's a gallery. I don't know why it went to that. And here we are. There they go, folks. Uh, there's Scott up in uh, hey there. Uh, oh, you're where again? You're in Ohio? Ohio. Ohio. And uh, Alan, uh, you're uh, uh, in... Uh, where? Sunny California, not far from Brian. Not far from Brian. Uh, and, of course, uh, Trucker Steve is up in Canada. And, of course, Charlie Wallace, deep in the heart of... Oh, you're wearing your Texas T-shirt today, huh? The Longhorns. The, the Longhorns? Are you a big Longhorn fan? Oh, for 50 years, yeah. Really? For 50 years? Boy. Were you born and raised in Texas? No, I was, I was born and raised in Chicago. Oh, okay. Uh, in Texas for graduate school. So you went to Texas for graduate school? Yeah. Okay. So then you you decided once you studied there, you liked it enough that you were going to stay there. Yep. Yeah. You know something? People don't. 80 degrees in January convinced me to stay. People don't <laughs> understand this, but Texas is really pretty damn good, you know, as a At place what? to live. No, as a place to live. I love. Oh. Of, of, yeah, I've, I've worked a lot of cities working my way across the country to New York. And uh, what is it? Mask off future. Well, it, it, Kathleen, just g g call us. Come on. No. Let, let's have this out with the hat, okay? <laughs> call in. I, if, if you call in, I'll take the hat off. How's that? Okay? <laughs> anyway. Uh, I, of all the cities I lived in, I lived in quite a few. I, you know, I went worked my way... Uh, through Chicago and uh, Houston and a lot of different places, and Minneapolis, and of all the places that I that I really enjoyed uh, the most, I would say outside of New York City, which I always loved, uh, was uh, was Texas. I had a really nice time in Houston. It was gr great food down there, you know, uh, great everything except for the goddamn fucking humidity, you know. And the hurricanes. And the hurricanes. Yeah, yeah, there are hurricanes, um, but not as often as you would like, you know. I Yearly? Mean, huh? Yearly. Yearly, yeah, but uh, it, sometimes it doesn't. No? Uh, no. No. I mean, they had a couple of the bad one about, a, what, a year ago, two years ago, something like that. Uh, but, uh, you know, when I would live there, I, th I don't think we had a single bad hurricane in the whole time I lived there. But I was only there for about three years, two or three years. So, you know. Hurricanes hadn't been invented then. Yes, that's right. <laughs> Hello. T hey, Tony, how are you? Tony. All right. I mean, I miss her, but it's, it's not as bad as I thought. Wait I was a minute. Wait, let's say when you say I miss her, it's not like your girlfriend <laughs> left you. Okay, because there are a whole bunch of people that wonder what you mean by. Yeah, you're right. I, you're right. I, I, I miss her. You're talking about your mother. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I never. Hey, I miss my I, mother. Watch this. I never liked her anyway. Okay. I know. Alex, you know, I got to tell you something funny. I thought of you the other day. I really did. I told this to Shaggy. We were in the, you know, the place where you have to go for the tombstone where they put the name on it? But we already have the plot down because my dad's name is on it. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. You're putting a tombstone on your mother's grave? No, there's actually one there already. My dad's on it. Oh, I see. Okay. First. okay. So what I thought are you going to do? Chisel her name on the side well, or something? Gonna, me and my brother are at the place, right? Yeah. So the lady, so the lady goes, lady goes, well, it's going to be $900 to have your mom's name there. So me and my brother kind of look at each other at the same time. Do we really have to do it? We know where she is already because he's on it. So we started laughing. And the lady thought we were serious. My brother's like, we're only joking. He said, we're going to do it. He says, yeah. Really? yeah, come on. Oh, wait wait a minute. Hold on a second. Camera shows a terrible. Uh, wait, wait a minute. I guess I have to take my. 
I, 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 I get. Uh, I'll hear from her if I don't. You, you know, know what I gotta tell you, Alex? I told this to Shecky. I was going through her room for the old photos. She has so many rosary beads. She's got the mascot for Pope John Paul II. What? Yeah, I'll go get it. I couldn't believe it. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on a second. What? No, wait. Explain <laughs> this. Explain wait, this. My to grandmother me. was like that. <laughs> She loved the Pope. That's the guy they shot in 1980. She's got a mask card from him from the church. <laughs> She's got a, ma a oh, mask. Right oh, who did it? I told you, I couldn't believe what I found today. Hold on. This is unbelievable. So, oh, oh, God, we're left with that horrid wallpaper. My God. <laughs> Madonna. Madonna needs rosary yeah. beads, right? <laughs> That's his green screen. <laughs> How did your background look? Ray we're Ray, talking about Hoover Dam. Ray Renati took a picture of that while he walked away once, yeah. and then he used it as a background on his green screen. So we had two of them. By the way, by the way, mom's dead, right? Yeah. Are we sure of that? We're sure of that, right? <laughs> no, she hasn't woken up in three months. Did, did you did you did you did you poke her a lot to make sure, you know, with a stick? I mean, she always no, said like, people laugh when I don't work too much. I know, you guys are terrible. Well, I, know. I love I'm Tony. Kind of I joke around, but I'm kind Here, of Here's bad. the thing. Here's the thing. Yeah. She's dead, right? Thank God. I just, yeah. Yeah. just you got to be in yeah. heaven too with all these rosaries. Okay, rosary. turn around and look in back of you. When the fuck are you going to get rid of that wallpaper? I know. I know. We threw, <laughs> Alex, I'm throwing the bed out soon. I feel bad taking you, it down. What do you mean you're throwing the bed out soon? It's a perfectly good out, bed. You can use it. You know. No, it's it's old. But look at this. Look what I found in her room. Pope oh, yeah, yeah. What, an autographed picture of Pope? No, uh, it's his mascot. Look what it says. In powerful in prayerful remembrance of his holiness. Born May 18th, 1920. Ordained November 1st, 1946. Elected Pope mm -hmm. October 16th, 78. And died April 2nd. By the way, this when, when woman, he died. She better be in heaven, Alex. She's got so many rosary beads back there. When they died, when he died, did they poke him with a stick? <laughs> <laughs> she's got more popes and yeah, she's got so many <laughs> so many rosary beads if, if my mother if there's a heaven she better be there i'll take a set send me one i'll take one oh. Oh. they're blessed from the church too right. oh my gosh. Wow. she's got saints it, in uh, let me let me, <laughs> let me explain like it's a church let, let me explain to people there's a rule in in doing talk shows that you can do a lot of things but don't make one of your guests cry because you look bad okay <laughs> When you make a guest cry. And uh -huh. one time Tony called me up to tell me that his aunt had died. And me, being a guy who runs a show where I think I have a sense of humor, uh, huh? my friend Penn Gillette, years ago. Oh, fucking Penn. Yeah, Penn. <laughs> Penn <laughs> told me. He said, whenever anybody tells me that a relative just died, or a girlfriend just left them, I always tell them, well, I never liked her anyway. Because nobody <laughs> wants to hear that, you know, that, oh, gee, too bad. You, you, you let a good woman like that leave you? My God. No, you're going to say, didn't like her. She was a piece of shit, right? Well, Tony calls me up, and he's feeling very bad. His, his aunt just died, so I'm trying to perk him up. This is on the air. And I, I said, well, you know what, Tony? I never liked her anyway. <laughs> And Tony, I was actually really upset. Then. And you Tony know, started crying. I did. I really did. Aww. And I felt because oh, I had a so, suit too, but I, I was crying. You know, I'm not a cruel person. I felt no. terrible. I actually felt bad. He said, "How did he make you do that?" I, I said, was I trying to make you laugh. laugh. Yeah, I know. I know you didn't mean it, but I was. I, I think it was that. Well, moment truth where was, I, I meant it. But you know, uh... <laughs> <laughs> did that ever happen to you before, Alex? Somebody what, my mother you? dying? Yeah. Uh, I had one mother that died, yeah. Did yeah. anybody cry in the air like that? Anybody cry in the air? No, you're the first, the only one. And uh, I, felt, I felt so bad about it. And then you hung up, sobbing. Yeah, was, <laughs> you went, I can't, I can't talk anymore. And you hung up. Aww. Yeah, I was and now, now it's Alex is a piece of shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. She, she couldn't believe he was dead. He's, I can't believe he did this. I don't think he really meant it. Wait a minute. Hold on a Yeah, second. he did. I gotta get something Terrible. straight. Come on, Kathleen. Don't you like that hat? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> it's a clinger, huh? Support, support of Russia. 
Wait, that's oh, my, it's, my, it's, my, it's my Chinese communist hat I bought in China. Oh, I thought it was Russian. Uh, and I got to I go like back to hat. I got to go back to China soon so I can bring back more hats and coronavirus. Right. So, you know. So You're you fine pop- with with or without a hat. Oh, I Come see. on. Okay. Well, I don't know about that. So uh, Thank you. Uh, what do you mean you don't know? You look at you. Take your hat off. Yeah. yeah. Oh boy, there it is. <laughs> I got some yeah. hair on there, not much. Oh, oh, you really want to you believe that, huh? It is yeah. there. I just I don't comb it over. It's too short to do a comb <laughs> over. So. I mean, if I if I don't if I don't shave the top of my head, I will have some hair up there. Not well, much, then, but I will have hair up comb there. Comb your hair with a wash rag. With a wash rag. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. No problem. You were talking about Hoover Dam. It's called Hoover Dam. Still. Oh, the dam tour. That was a good yeah. tour. We took Damn that tour. You took that tour with me. Yes. The dam tour. The dam tour. tour. Yeah. You good? Yeah. So con- <laughs> that concrete is so thick, you're probably right. It's probably still curing. Mm-hmm. When concrete cures, when it's fresh, the, uh, part of the thing is moisture leaves it. The other thing is it gets hot. And yep, they yeah. were concerned. They were concerned it was going in so thick when they built this that it was going to heat up and cause huge cracks. So they pumped refrigerated water through pipes and stuff through it to keep it cool or something like that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's, behave. Well, yeah, that's, that's, that's more than we want to know about Hoover yeah. Dam. <laughs> right. We're not, we're not talking about yeah. a toilet here, you know? Yeah. Uh, no, but uh, uh, Kathleen and I went there when I when I lost yep. when I quit when they dumped me for my job at Live One Hundred Five yeah. in San Francisco. Uh, she and I immediately got on a plane and got out of town before the press could start trying to find me or whatever. Yep. You know. Wow, uh, were you that popular at that time? Oh yeah. I'm I uh, but no, I was I I was going to do my last show and it was a remote and. Uh, uh, I didn't want anybody to know, and I was at the end of the show going to go, well, this is my last show, and uh, I hope you'll enjoy whatever this station does after I'm gone. Yeah. And then I was going to leave. <laughs> well, when I get there, television station is there, newspapers are there, and I had a deal with the station that they weren't going to tell anybody, so yep. I could just say it myself. So I finished my show, and I said, see you on Monday. Uh. And then I will looked at my general, walked off, looked at my general manager, and said, "Now you deal with it." Yeah, <laughs> you know, and wow. and we had it all planned, and Mar- and uh, Kathleen and I got on an airplane and flew to Las Vegas, Vegas, and spent the weekend there. And we rented yep. a car and we went out to Boulder Dam or Hoover Dam or Dyson, yes. Dyson Dam. Somebody said here, uh, Some Dam. That guy's an idiot. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but I mean, it was you know, it was that that was a great tour. It's, it's really a great, great tour. You go right into the thing, and yep. then you, yep. and in the you go to the very end of this long tunnel, and there's a little kind of cage there, and you're actually looking out over the front of the dam about yeah. halfway down. It's it's, wow. uh, it's really cool. It's easier to look it's out of awesome that side than the other side. Huh? Why is it named after Hoover? He didn't have anything to yes, do with it, did. right? Or... Yeah, he did. Oh, he did. It was yeah. built during his administration, I think. Yeah. 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 And yeah. then yeah. they then they called it when he got out of office because he was so hated because of the depression. Right. Hoover uh, uh, folly or they, whatever. They called it. They called it Boulder Dam. Well, how? Why they oh, called it Boulder? Okay. I have no idea. It wasn't near Boulder, Colorado, or anything nope. like that. And then. I guess it was maybe in the yeah. 50s they renamed it again Back Hoover again. Dam. Yeah. So, you know. Well, then he was FBI director for life, right? How did that happen? Well, right? that, no, that was a different Hoover. <laughs> you thought oh, that was... Minute. You thought... <laughs> well, you, I don't know, Al. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Charlene, you thought the Hoover that was president was the same Hoover that was the head of the wait FBI? A minute. Who's the FBI? I'm not old <laughs> enough to have lived through this, but, Alex. <laughs> By, by the way, is today your birthday? My birthday? Oh, it was a couple of weeks ago. Oh, well, Jack Nicholson's birthday, somebody, the 22nd. Somebody wrote me and said, wish Charlene a happy oh, birthday. No. And I'm going, I think I... I, go today. I mean, I what? No, but you did it on the show, I think, yeah. too, when I told you. Yeah, yeah. I'm thinking, yeah. yeah. And I'm like you. I don't even want to know about another birthday. I'm, but so I'm, not, I'm not going to ruin my shot. Happy birthday, Kathleen. 
Oh, is it her birthday today? Her birthday today? It doesn't matter. Whenever her birthday oh. is, happy birthday, Kathleen. Oh, she might not have said it. Jeff, you know, Kathleen, it's a good thing your mother didn't die. He'd say I didn't like her anyhow. <laughs> Jeff, Jeff, <laughs> Jeff, happy birthday, Jeff. Thank you. Okay, happy birthday, trucker Steve. Thank you, uh, Charlie. My uh, birthday's in a couple of weeks, actually. Oh, so actually, I'm getting. Oh. Uh, yeah. How about you, Brian Neary? Happy birthday. Oh, you, my, your microphone is eating on. again. <laughs> Where's my kid? Yeah, where's the kid that calls and says he's eating? Yeah, <laughs> licking the spoon. Yeah, uh, Scott, a happy birthday to you. Well, thank you very much. Yeah, <laughs> happy birthday, Alan. Tony. Oh, Tony. Happy oh, birthday. Oh, uh, happy to birthday. Tony. When's yeah. your When is your birthday, Tony? Mm. It was supposed to be December, but my mother fell down the stairs. I was born in uh, I mean December, but I was born in December. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Hold on. Uh, that's a well, well, back she up. had me three months early. You didn't know I was in an incubator for like three months. Uh, back up on this one. This is this is getting to be like a bad comedy show with you. It's true though, Alex. I was a chicken. <laughs> you <laughs> were your mother fell down a flight of stairs and you well, were. The well, the side stairs on the side. Well, that certainly yeah. explains a lot of stuff. That is true, yeah. <laughs> I was a feisty when I wanted to come out. Yeah. How many yeah. times did they slap your mother when you came out? <laughs> they, my brother said they didn't think I was going to make it, Alex. I was in the hospital for like three months. Really? Oh, oh. Yeah, I was in an incubator. Oh. Yeah. Poor Tony. <laughs> well, if you had died, I would have told your mother I didn't like him anyway. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> like him anyway. <laughs> Oh boy! So that she's coming, Leo. He's coming out early. She tripped by oh. she's wearing a short. So she went down three steps. Alex, yeah. I have another stupid question. You know the uh, Joker? He's dancing on those steps. That's not the steps you're talking about, right? What steps? The one yeah, you Tony know, would know. You do your walk on the. Oh no, steps no, no! Those that... are those are up in the Bronx, way. Yeah, that's the Bronx. Bronx. Yeah. Okay, because my yeah. husband tells me he's seen Tony. them when he saw the Joker. He got all excited. He said. I'm going to go and take a picture on those steps or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, uh, and uh, yeah, yeah. But I still don't can't get over your mistaking one Hoover for another Hoover. <laughs> well, straighten me out. What Hoover? Because now Hoover. I don't know what the Well, Hoover. they had certain similarities. They were both pieces of shit. Right. So That's why I thought that probably. One was straight. One was gay and one was straight. Yeah. Right. Yeah, and one used to dress up like a woman, the that's FBI weird. guy, right? Yeah, that's the yeah. third guy. Yeah, no, the one that had all the power too. <laughs> get confusing. Yeah, yeah, he, um, yeah, he used to dress up as, uh, I don't know. He used According to, to Leo DiCaprio's movie, right? Whoever directed that movie. There right? are some pictures of him somewhere. You know. Oh wow! He's dressed as Wonder Woman. No. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Uh, uh, no, what was it? Um, um, yeah, uh, Hoover uh, was always going after people, though, for being gay and homosexual and so on, and yet he was always, you know, liked wearing dresses, and he had he had yeah. a boyfriend, Col Colson, yeah. was, the, uh, was the guy's name, and yeah, he awesome. had been, he was the second in charge at the FBI, and they lived yeah. together. Oh, wow. But they were just best buds. Yeah. Mm, right. oh, yeah, yeah. There were rumors for years. Oh, they were absolutely. Just, they were just bachelors. <laughs> well, what's interesting, yeah. what's bachelors. interesting is that Hoover had files on on everybody, on every senator and congressman, on all, you know, if they were cheating on their wives, she had stuff on that. If they were gay, he had stuff on that. And he used these things to keep people in line, and yet he himself had the biggest, mm. what they felt at the time was the biggest sin you could possibly have, and that was being gay. Mm. Uh, I mean, thank God things have changed, but there was a time where he had to remain closeted. Um, beard, beard, beard. Beard, beard, yeah. beard. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. He had a beard, too. I'm trying to remember who it was. There was some woman he used to be seen in public with. Right. You know, like Lee Barashi had Sonia Henny or great, something like great that. Great story I heard about from an FBI guy, though. What happened was is that Hoover had certain rules. One of his major rules was you always had to wear a hat. Really? Yeah. <laughs> wow. All every FBI guy when they went out to make arrests or did whatever, they wear hats. Like they, the Untouchables or they, something. They yeah. had to wear hats. Some big fedora. And yeah. and somebody once made a statement that you know. The worst thing that you could that could happen in the FBI, and a lot of people felt, was 
being found out that you were gay. So if you were found in a love tryst with a man, make sure that when they caught you, you were wearing a hat. Oh, my gosh. That's <laughs> <laughs> so stupid. Uh, another rule that he had, which was, I guess, made sense, don't park in his parking space. He, did he have that? Yeah, I'm sure he did. Yeah. Yeah, he, he um, was very protective of his parking space. Don't park in his parking, parking space. space. Yes. <laughs> I, probably under the parking was space was a trap door with all his dresses or something. I don't or know. Or something like that. Yeah. 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 Um, but uh, anyway, so uh, you know, uh, uh, but I'm 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 glad, Tony. You you really. I thought you were going to be more devastated by your mother dying than you are. But it, there's I mean, almost the bird, there's a calm that's me. come over you. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you know what it is? I didn't realize. How can I say? That she was so much work. I felt, you know, what I'm saying, meaning like how it was draining. Like I don't mean it in a bad way, though. Yeah. Like I didn't oh. sleep at all at night. Oh, I couldn't no, sleep because I was always watching. Well, but you, but what happened was you, you turned it into a racket for yourself. I did. Yeah. You know. Jesus. No, this is true. Uh, Ka Kathleen, you may not be aware of this, but he went to the city of New York and said, "I want to be take care of my mother," and so they paid him a salary and health. You, you, yeah. you got uh, a better health plan. I didn't get dental out. You got a health plan That's for being thing. for taking care of your mother. So when and I moved here anyway, so it wasn't like you know it wasn't like I had to go anywhere. No, I mean you. It was and it was also good for her because there was no. Yeah. You she were, was comfortable with me because you were going to make la 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 la. No matter what they say, I love Tony. <laughs> no, we're not saying you're I mean, terrible about Tony, but it was good life insurance for his mother because, you know, as long as she was making him money, he wasn't going to yeah. kill her, you know, or let her die. So I'm, when when you announced, Tony, that your mother was that. dead, Dan Meyer said, are you sure? <laughs> the thing, the thing, we're all stand, looking at the screen going... Let me ask you this though. She, she. I was thinking about this today. She technically she died of of. of uh, oh, that's a funny thing you say that, Alex. You know what? Well, you look at the death certificate. It says natural causes. It doesn't say COVID. Uh, it doesn't, oh, it doesn't, say doesn't COVID. show that you choked her to death. No, <laughs> no. but it says natural well, causes. Well, in, 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 to in Tony's Alex, case, in Tony's case, that is natural causes. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> talking to death. <laughs> oh, he's never gonna leave. <laughs> Uh, but I used to talk too much. You used to say, okay, now go to bed. But Ma, you want me to come in here and talk? You used to go, okay, time to go to sleep. Like I'm 10. Time to go yeah. to bed. But anyway, so on the bed, I thought that she died of uh, of, of COVID. Because I was thinking today, do I know anybody she who did. died of COVID? And I said, Tony's mother. Yeah. She did, Alex. Because when we went to the doctor, Long Island Jewish, when that lady said she uh, her whole lungs, it was COVID related. But the death certificate says natural causes. But it was COVID. They just didn't put it down. So remember that's that whole TV where they were saying they were putting it all down, everybody was dying of COVID? They just did put, they put natural, but my dad died of cancer, they put oh, no. natural causes too. Who signed the death certificate? Mar uh, Andrew Cuomo? Right. Yeah. <laughs> that's a good one, Alex. Yeah, he might have, Alex. He might have that's been holding that. <laughs> oh, oh, boy. Yeah, we'll yeah. never know how many people died from this. No, you're right. You'll never know, Alex, because Hus says we'll natural know. causes, but it was COVID yeah. related because how long was all. They said the lead told us how lungs were all. It was the COVID. They just kept uh, re Is reducing. Your how lungs were well, well, your sister may have been the one that gave it to her, right? Yeah, it seems that it's my sister was the one who gave it to her. Yeah. So how does your how's your sister dealing with that? She was hard with it because it, we timed it out. It was probably that when she went back to school that Friday because she was always remote, and when she came home to wash her hair three days later, she tested positive the following week. She's having a hard time with it, but she's come to, I told you, she's come to terms with it because it was an accident. You know, you know, she's teaching kindergarten and first graders. Yeah. What are you going to do? You know, you could have got it anyway. We can't actually never know 100%. She, she might not have had it at the time that she was. No, you don't. You don't, you don't, yeah. you don't know. Yeah. You know, you yeah. don't know. We're never yeah. going to know what she's got. Well, uh, let's have an investigation into it. Huh? <laughs> I mean, I feel bad. God, for I her. wish Jay Edgar Hoover were still alive. We get this thing settled. <laughs> I mean, yeah, what would he do? I mean, it's what would he do? Well, he'd run for president again. Anyway, uh, uh, yes, Charlene. I I just want to sneak something in, you know, like I can understand that Tony might be handling it so well because I don't know if anyone ever remembers. I take care of my gonna be ninety year old mom, mm -hmm. 
I mean, you know, I love my mother. I'm a daughter. You always love your mother. and But she really, I mean, she's really a part to handle, you know? It, it gets hard, rough, right? you know? It does. Yeah, it's rough. Do you sleep you know? at all at night, Charlene, or is it hard? Well, what was that? it's oh, just sorry. that, you know, she is so, if you tell her black, she wants white, you know? Mm-hmm. I mean, she's very cantankerous. <laughs> She is very fussy about food. And, oh, you know, yeah. it's, I always it's had to cook nerves. everything. Yes, I could never. Oh, God. She used to drive me crazy. You got to do it like yeah. this. Yeah. yeah. She was yeah. a good cook, my mother. That's what it was. I mean, she was well, she never well, Can I, can I say her, that, but... that, that I've lived in a living hell uh, with, uh, with, with Marjorie? Really? Well, because. <laughs> really? Yeah, well, here's the reason. I'm called I, bullshit. I, I love her dearly. <laughs> this show's going to be done from the streets in New York tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But here's the reason Olivia, why. Before I married her, street. before I married her, I was a bachelor. You remember me when I was a bachelor, oh, yeah. right, Kathleen? Totally. Yeah. And I never got married until I married her. You know, yes. I, I mean, I had been married three times before, and I, yep. you know, I just figured, hey, I, I just somehow I flunk at marriage. Yes. All right. Um, uh, uh, and we came a little close on that once. We were talking about it, you know. Yeah, no. Yeah, because we thought you were pregnant, and I, I figured, what yeah. the hell, you know? I mean, I, I had a good time with her. You know, we had fun. She was fun. We to be did. With. But anyway, I but I hadn't gotten married until until Marjorie. So I was the bachelor, and you know me as a bachelor. Did I make my bed every day? No, no, no. I didn't make my bed no. every day. No, and. You know, I mean, I did. But would I would I clean the place up? Well, once in about a month, every month, I would clean the apartment. Okay. I did. You did. <laughs> <laughs> but here's the point. Here's the point where my life has been a living hell. I marry her, and now everything that we do has to be done her way. The bed has to yes. be made every morning. What? I'm a I, I'm a guy. We don't make beds every morning. Right. <laughs> Fix it. Uh, mm-hmm. How about you, Alan? Do you make your bed every morning? No. Okay. No. Uh, uh, I, uh, uh, well, Maybe once uh, a Jeff, month. Jeff, what? Are you? <laughs> I, I'm the last one up. You're, you're the last I one. make the bed. Wow. You make the bed. But if you don't make the bed, you hear about it, don't you? You're it, making the bed out of fear. Would happen. Okay. Are you married, Scott? Yes. Yes. Uh, I don't make the bed. My wife does. Really? <laughs> Oh, yeah. good. See, it's always good to marry a maid. Well, she's a you nurse. Know? I used to tease her. She got a degree in bed making. So. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, yeah that one of those, you make it better than I do. Thanks. But anyway, everything, <laughs> everything kind of has to be done her way. You know, she's very fussy about things that are her way. And so I've just given up. You know, I just do it, you know, and it may be like, uh, how do you, I, if, if I made her coffee, I would have to make it in a certain way. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm a pain in the ass. I'm a bitch like are, that. Are you really? <laughs> yeah. And you're so probably you not even feel Jewish. Bad? But because. My, my, my husband now, I feel sorry for him after you said that now. Well, see, I, what I love is when I, I, is getting, when I get up in the morning, I always loved to lie in bed for a while, like two, three hours. <laughs> You know, totally. <laughs> just, just, right? You remember? I just like to lie yes. in bed and then slowly like get Susan. myself out of bed. Right. If yeah. I turn around, I mean, oh shit! I mean, what one time in the middle of the night I got up to take a piss, I came back, the bed was made. You know. <laughs> I mean, I mean, she, she, she's got to make the bed. Got to make the bed. Come, help me make the bed. If I don't make the bed, she makes it. And then but we'll Alex, see. she's good for you. She's, she, you know, somebody oh, yeah. has to. Yeah, she's good for know, me, yeah. and I, I love her dearly. And the reason why I have changed what how I uh, partition mm-hmm. my life and parcel mm-hmm. it out is because I, I, you know, I, I, I don't want her yelling at me. No, happy uh, life, happy life. Uh, no, I, I, you know, yeah, you know, it, it means very little to me. I'll, I'll do things to keep her happy, you know, but she is very rigid in her, in her everything. I mean, the time she goes to bed, she goes to sleep. Uh, there, there's a thing where, uh, she, we, we don't make, we have a comforter, okay, and the comforter is rolled up every night. 
at 8 o'clock. She <clears throat> unrolls it so she can get under it. But it's 8 o'clock. It's not 7.30. <laughs> it's not 8.30. But she's working, right? She's still working. So maybe somehow it has to do with that, that she no, is on it like just, a... it's just I, I can make you a bet that within five minutes, either way, she's going <laughs> to roll up that comforter. I mean, she is such a creature of habit. It's amazing. Mm. So if she's a creature of a habit and it makes her happy, then I suppose I will adapt totally. my life to it. Right? Am I right, Kathleen? Mm -hmm. That's what you do? Absolutely. Yeah. That's what you do for somebody you love and care about. What signs are you? Horoscope sign. Uh, she's, uh, I don't know. She's uh, not a Virgo, is she? Or? Huh? Is she Virgo? You know, they're like uh, fanatical no, she, about stuff like that. She's uh, what? She's, um, well, she's no, no, uh, November uh, 3rd. So well, what is um, that? Scorpio. Yes. Scorpio? Oh, Scorpio. Okay. Oh, God. I hear they're terrible. Awesome. Yeah. And what are you, Alex? I'm a Scorpio. I'm a, I'm a Sagittarius. Oh, Sagittarius are very nice, right? Sag. Yeah, I'm a Sagittarius. I thought more like you were. Well, you balance each other off. Then. Kathleen, That's... you were like May or something like that, if I remember correctly. Leo. 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 Oh boy. Yeah. See, you were good with Kathleen because you were a Sag. She was a Leo. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I remember watching Alex play video games. I remember when <laughs> the whole Laura Croft. Stupid ass video game came out. Those, oh my god! Those are when she still had when, so. That's... Alex would get so fucking pissed. <laughs> no, but I like the video games, and I would just lay in bed and watch him play. I was in. Well, heaven. those are the I mean, days when hilarious. she still had like creases in her knees and stuff because mm -hmm. stuff wasn't well wasn't well done. But what I did like to do. Oh, oh hey, look, there's Adrian. Everybody, wave at Adrian. There. Oh, Adrian's yeah, coming. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> too, too much. Oh, that was a great picture of her drying the wheels of your car. Oh, yep. yeah. Dude, yeah. She wants to help with the cars, so she knows she's taking those over. Yeah. Yeah. Hello. We're not getting this. Come on, say hello. Bye. I hear you. <laughs> she's still listening to K-pop and all that. Well, see, he, he, yeah, he, he went, how, how long did you live before you had your first kid? 48. I lived 48 years. Right. And then you had this, Aww. which is, you know, look at that. Is that not adorable? We could do a poster with her that says you can feed a hungry child or you can turn the page. <laughs> uh, but now when we talk about, you know, having life changing experiences, that probably changed your whole life. And the way in which you you lived your life daily, right? You had yes. to adapt to that. Yeah, uh, my cars, my hobby got put on hold for a while. <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> yeah, you're like Jay Leno. I've seen your Facebook page. You got some badass cars there. And it's not like, oh, hi, babe, I'm going to the car show, have fun with the kids, <laughs> you know? So, yeah, yeah. Um, Adrian wants to go with me. Everything I go to, I get up early in the morning, and she'll hear me. And she'll she'll wake up and she'll go downstairs and I hear the door opening in the garage. Yeah, Daddy, where are you going? I said, I'm going to Ronnie's donut thing. Well, you and but you know I think until you had your own kid, mm -hmm. your own kid, even though you had the other kids were living with you and you felt like you were helping raise them and so on and you were being a fa a, a, a kind of a, a stepfather to them, you, you it wasn't the same as when she came into your life. Yeah, totally different. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, you go. That's part me, you know. It's got to yeah. be a thrill. I mean, I uh, I never had that. I never had that thrill, mm -hmm. and I'm yeah, sorry we... that I never did. And you know why? Because there's nobody to take care of me when I get old. So, uh... <laughs> Alex, <laughs> Alex, wait a minute. I am old. There's nobody to take care of me. What, Charlene? I don't want to be a party pooper for anybody, but I, you know experience and now i realize that i'm probably going to be alone in my life because uh i don't know it's horrible um you know you can't count on when they get older you know i have a 28 year old and it's it's like you know they're still looking like charlie said one time a long time ago his kids are still asking her for money and they're like you know very old right yeah, they're in their 30s. it's all about their them. 30s and they're it's asking you them. for money <laughs> yeah Oh boy! I mean, yeah, yeah I hate to are... be like that, but you know, because they're real nice when they're little. They're your buddy. 
they're sweet, you know, they, you know, but then around 15, 16, you know, the teen angst hits, yeah. like, I remember I had it, but uh, to get it back, boy, oh boy, I've apologized to my mother though. That's what they say you do. Like mm -hmm. my mother's still around and I say, mom, I'm you so know, sorry. I've never, I've never, this. I've never had to go through that because I never had any kids. So I've never but, you had, know, maybe I, you, I never had to you, say, you know? I never had to say, I understand my parents. Although I was, to tell you the truth, I was a great kid. Uh, I really, I mean, you know, I mean, my mother mm -hmm. doesn't have a tombstone right now, but I was a great kid. But you know where she is, though. Uh, I know where she is. Where she is. <laughs> I think right. I, if you wanted to find her, you could find well, her. Well, right? I'd have to do some research. Oh, really? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, she's right next to my father. But I kept thinking to myself, you know, they probably figured I'll go find my own place to get buried, right? And uh, so there's no place for me there. Oh, there's not. This place, my mom, one more room for us. I can go in there. There's one more plot inside the. I figured maybe they could wedge me between them or something, you know. You can put people on top. I think you can cremate. They did it to my aunt Stucker where her parents were. Well, you were. know what they do? You and know, then, you yeah, know. but you know what they do in New Orleans? They put them in these crypts. Yeah. Mm -mm. And, but they, they have what are called, uh, they're, they're like sacks, they're bone sacks. And when oh. the body decays enough, they put the bone, bones in the sacks and they push them to the back and then they push the, the newest person in the front. Ooh. So really got a bunch of bags of bones in these crypts. Uh, nice. Yeah. Um, and of course, your son's going to take good care of you, isn't she? Isn't he, Kathleen? That's a good kid. Totally. You got, you got and good... you know what's funny is my son is very much like you. He is nothing like his dad. He is Wait, very is much. There something, into is there music. something? You, is there something you haven't told me? <laughs> I don't know, but uh, Sean and I were talking about it because I said, oh my God, if you and Alex were ever to sit down, you guys would talk about movies and music. For hours. Yeah, we'd ignore you. <laughs> totally. Well, I'd be off talking with Marjorie, so whatever. <laughs> yeah, talking with Marjorie, and then every now and then the two of you would turn over and look at me and give you that glance. You know. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. <laughs> or you get that knowing look every now and then. Yeah, I know what you're saying. I know what you're yeah, saying. Yeah, and then Sean would tell you, oh, ignore those broads. Yeah, but, uh, you know, but I mean, I don't want you to think that Marjorie and I don't get along. It's just that I've had to adapt my life. Oh, you guys life. totally get along. I've had to adapt my life to it. No, we don't get along all the time. Yeah, I mean, you we, do. we, oh, we, <laughs> you know. Bickersons. <laughs> you know, at least once a week she tells me to go fuck myself, you know. Good. She gets mad. And, and it used to be on the Friday night show. <laughs> did she, used to, <laughs> right. she, she used to say it on the forcing her to go on, right? You could you could tell her on the end she was she was not happy to be up through that show. Yeah. No, she was she was well, she was happy and she wasn't happy. Mm -hmm. You know, she she uh, yeah. Uh, you're right. But it was nice. I liked it. Yeah. I, love, I love seeing her for Friday nights for fun. Yeah, but now she's uh, goes to bed early and you know, and it was always hard to keep her up too because she she uh, yeah. you know she gets up so early every day with working. Yeah, but, she's but working. But Friday nights were in a work night, but still you don't want to change your your habit. Well, you know, yeah. so you get you know you get a little tired. I'm tired. Well, let's see here. We've uh, we're all, we have about fifteen minutes left. Uh, oh, that's uh, it. Wow. Uh, how do you, uh, have? There, has there been any news over in New Jersey about you guys opening up? Oh, um, we're we, we're allowed to go outside without the masks and all that. Yeah, but uh, but uh, yeah. they're waiting to see what New York does about opening all the restaurants and all that because that's what they always do. Well, we said Don't that he, our so mayor has said July first. We are we are targeting that for opening the city completely. To everything, mm -hmm. um, you know, but uh, then of course the Indian flu will hit and we'll be all back indoors again. You know. Yeah, this is crazy. Yeah, what do they set up in uh, Connecticut? Uh, nothing, nothing no really important. Nothing. No, I don't, I don't think there's anything. And we're we're okay with that mask now, right? Right, Alan Larkin. Yeah, vaccinated. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I actually. I actually went and picked up Adrian yesterday, or sorry, this morning or her lunchtime. Uh, 
she gets out like at 1230 and I went there with no mask. I went there with my mask on my hand and walked up there and everybody still had masks on. I just walked up there to see if anybody say anything. But well, it's the open air and everybody is far apart anyways. So hmm. the thing it is, still feels weird, though, without the mask. Well, the thing, I know. I get like that. The yeah. thing is that I had yeah. always had a, a, a problem with uh, the fact that people in my neighborhood didn't seem to be wearing masks as much. And now that the CDC has said you don't have to wear masks unless you're in a crowded situation. Right. Okay. Everybody's wearing masks. It's <laughs> like they want to do the opposite of what they're told, yeah. you know. Uh, but, I mean, it made me feel a little freer to take my mask down when I'm walking and there are not, no, no people around me. Because, right. uh, uh, you know, I found it so hard to go on walks. And, and breathe with the mask mm. on. I mean, the mask was terrible. And somehow, nobody came up with a better technology. And now all of a sudden, I don't know if you saw <coughs> the beginning of the show, but I was mentioning that if you've got a, you know, an iPhone and it has facial recognition, it has a problem recognizing you if you've got a mask on. But they solved Good. the problem. You now work it with your watch. If you have the watch, you just look at it and it goes to your watch, and your watch says, he's okay, and opens up your phone. Well, they did that, but they, th this came out on the same day that they announced that uh, uh, July 1st, it's all over with. So we're not going to have to wear the masks anyway. You know. wow, wow. Yeah. What, uh, on July 1st. You know, of course, Alex, I really appreciate your walking us through that, because I've been getting... Um, things popping up about it mm -hmm. and you made it clear in my mind that it works with the watch and all that but of course when you just walk through it i go into my settings and i can't find the watch but it's okay i'll figure wait, wait, it out wait, wait, wait. <laughs> you just you just go look if you've got an iphone and you've got a watch everybody here's simply how you do it you go to your you go to your settings and then you go to face id and passcode then you put I in your that. passcode okay and then if you go all the way down about halfway, about three quarters of the way, it says, uh, it'll probably say Charlene's Apple Watch. See? It didn't say that, though. Oh, I swear oh, to God, you, but I'll figure it did out. Did you upgrade? Did help. you upgrade to the newest? Uh, there's an upgrade. I'll check it. Did it just come through? Yeah, Remember yeah, Rob yeah. used to tell you when it came through? Yeah, yeah you got to yeah. get... You, you gotta, oh, maybe that's what it is. I didn't download the yeah. right thing. Or something. And then it says, uh, um, and then you just turn that on, and then from then on, your watch, will, when it's on. Well, thank you, but you're right. If it's July yeah. 1st, they're a little yeah. bit late with all this, right? But that's a little late in coming, you know. So what yeah. this means, of course, tried. is if you lose your phone, anybody can turn it on. No. Oh. you got to have your watch. Your watch. Gotta, your watch has to be on <clears> with you. you. Your watch. And I have Make a passcode on my watch, so it knows when I have it on. And Everybody that's listening to the show now knows if they're going to take your phone to take the watch. To well, it. no, they, they should turn it on before they run away, and they're near my watch. If they're not near my watch... It won't uh, do it. If they're down the street, it's not going to let them into my phone. Android's had that for a couple of years. Really? Yeah, with their watch. And they even have trusted location. So it knows if you're at your house, it won't lock. You won't have to worry ah. about you at your house. Or if your business, you can assign trusted locations. And Wear OS has had that for, gosh, a couple why, of years. Why does an Apple do that? Mainly because Apple sucks. Yeah. Um, um, this is how I turn on my phone. Oh, uh, you're so fucking sexy. I uh, may be. <laughs> oh, yeah, I get it now. He turns on his What's phone. What's the smoke coming from your phone now, Brian? <laughs> yeah, yeah. How's everything up in Canada this uh, fine day, Trucker Steve? Uh, it was kind of a shitty day. It was rainy all day. Yeah. yeah it was a, kind of an ugly day. Yeah. It was. Uh, we're in, like, full lockdown up here. Uh, a couple of weeks ago, our, our uh, premier, Doug Ford, uh, wanted to give the police extra powers where they could just randomly call every, anyone over on in their cars or just even walking on the street um, because they wanted everybody to stay in their house almost all the time except to shop for food. Yeah. Wow. wow. Actually, has it gotten bad? Over then it's just, for, yeah. just trying to get the mail. Has it gotten bad? It's gotten bad up there again, I guess. Huh? Yeah. And our and our premier, 
which is our our version of a governor. Doug Ford is a fucking moron. What is it? I thought Trudeau was still governor. It was still no, no, no. That's the prime minister. Oh, oh, the premier. Yeah, I see. I don't understand that. Premier, under a parliamentary system, premiers are our version of governors. Hey, okay. That's one. All right. Tucker Steve, is Doug Ford? Did he used to be the mayor of Toronto? No, that was his brother. Oh, that guy was Doug a nutcase. He was smoking yeah. crack and stuff. And oh, yeah, I remember him. Yeah. Oh, he, was, he was great. That guy. That uh, that <laughs> he was prime minister. That was his brother. Yeah. Oh, what was his name again? Rob Ford. Rob. Ford. Rob Ford, he yeah. died though, didn't oh, he? Oh yes. Yeah, he had cancer. I remember him? Yeah. Oh, you remember him, right? Oh yes. Yeah, he was. Oh. Uh, he was a partying kind of guy. Yeah. <laughs> he was big a... heavy set guy. Yeah, his brothers fucked the same. He was an fat. idiot. He was an idiot. Just a moron. Hello there, Irv. What's well, his well, What's his well, name? Well, 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 it says <laughs> Irv Jackson, but it's uh, Jack Bishop, ladies and gentlemen, because that's his. Oh, shame. Now I'm going to one of these days. I'm going to kill you for for that. But uh, hey, I heard you no, talking no, wait about wait a minute. Your no, mother. but no, your 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 thing says Irv Jackson. Hold on right. a second. Let me change it here. All right. Uh, um, uh, let's see here. Rename. Uh, rename. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where's oh they rename okay the no zoom and guy. then I will put in shithead. Here that we. works for me, man. I'm used uh, to being called that. But it, it, it growing up as a kid, yeah. that was uh, there. We go. That, now you that see was it. a term of endearment. Hey, I heard you talking about your mom and and, and the tombstone. Yeah. Don't feel bad. Uh -oh. I I I have done the same thing, and I think my mother uh, has been gone longer than yours. And sometimes at 3 a.m. in the morning, I go, I'm such a lousy son. I'm such a son of a bitch, you know. And, uh, See, this is what I have to look forward to. <laughs> yeah. You know, Jack, yeah. it's all true. Don't worry no about it. No tombstone. Uh, you know, my mother, Tony's thrown at his mother's bed. My, my mother died in 2004. <laughs> oh, yeah. My yeah. mother died in the 80s. Well, I just haven't gotten back there to buy a tombstone, you know. Well, I, I haven't, you know done the same thing and she's a lot closer than san francisco but yeah uh i feel bad about it because you know and mother's I, day is coming up too on the night don't she, she has to remind me <laughs> so so having your name being shithead up there is is relevant then yes uh, yeah, yeah. yeah now uh my first wife who passed away she's got this big headstone because you know i did that for my stepkids you know yeah because that's what they wanted yeah now, I, uh, I told Donna, in my case, I'm just cremate me and put me in the cabinet where we have the remains of our dead pets and put me uh, across it, the you, ashes of my cat and my dog and then put a remote wait control a minute, wait on minute. top you, of you me. You keep the remains of your pets? Well, oh, yeah. That's the new thing now. They give yeah. you a little cremated thing and you keep it. Yeah. It costs a fortune, Alex. <laughs> I, I, Don't my, remind my, me. My one cat, Shabbos, I was actually going to stuff him in okay. the position he was happiest with, uh, licking his balls and then put him on top of the television <laughs> set where he liked doing that. You know, uh, like, that would have been like, a, up in the air. like trigger. Yeah. yeah. Where's your mother yeah. buried, Alex? No, uh, where's my mother buried? Uh, in uh, Colma. Colma. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Which the uh, uh -oh. whole population of Colma is nothing but dead people. Yeah, yeah. there's more people underground than above ground there. in that town. He's going right. to go search the grave out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they have a city there. hall, though. They have a city hall, and it looks like a mausoleum. Yeah, yeah. well, why not? Yeah. It probably was. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, uh, are you missing uh, are you missing uh, your old uh, stomping grounds, Kathleen? Uh, nope. Down there in Tracy? No. No. Okay, all right. Because I it's when I like, to... this week it was like ninety degrees or something. Don't miss it. Okay, it's cooler up where you are, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And the ocean, the ocean is right across the street. Yeah. Yeah. Someday uh, she'll show us with the blind. And... Uh, yep. Yes, Jack. Kathleen, ninety degrees in Texas is called a spring day. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yeah, you you had your electricity go out on you the other night. Yeah, yeah, we had this uh, a tornado uh, watch or 
I think it was I, I get watches and warnings confused. Whatever it was, we were under it. Mm -hmm. uh, first time since we got the solar panels in that we lost um, electricity for about five minutes. How'd you lose uh, electricity if you have solar panels and it probably? Well, well I guess uh, we used up all of the battery backup. Oh, okay. All you right. know, so we went back on the mains as they call them but uh, that's not why i'm here i want to say hey coming up next intersection join us skype this at gabnet live bye bye hi yeah bye. Uh, uh, you you, you on zoom i hope is it anybody Co else here? coming soon coming soon great right. 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 as soon as he can learn how to work a computer mm. uh <laughs> You know, you used to be one of my favorite people, Bennett. Yeah, well. Yeah, why don't, Alex, why don't you call him and help him set it up? What? He's not, 16, he's not 16 years old. You know, I, I turned my computer stuff over to 16-year-old kids well, who haven't I, left their room. I could probably do it by remote control, maybe, if, you, right. if you're having trouble. Bye. 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 Say, Jack. Say, say goodbye to Jack, and if you want to call him, mm -hmm. he's on next. Uh, Kathleen, you didn't put in solar power, did you? Well, not at my house, but we're fully solar here. Oh, yeah. it's your fa uh, your father's place there. Yes, fully solar. Totally. And, Wonderful. Uh, That's and, thank and, you. And the Any light room? the lights never dim or anything, huh? Nope. And we're on a well, so we're off the grid. Totally. Well, that wow. That's oh, great. Yeah. That's terrific. Anybody else here have solar? No. No. Yeah. Alex, Probably. I don't have them. But I appreciate you're getting into that because I've heard that, like, if your power goes out, the solar kicks in so you don't need a generator. Yeah. But then he just said, uh, Irv or shithead, <laughs> he said that, um, <laughs> you know, that doesn't necessarily, if he, if he used up everything, right, you know, yeah. whatever he said, I, I got that, that then you're up shit's creek and you will have an outage, right? Yeah. Yeah, well, I okay. mean. Hmm? I don't trust them. I don't know enough solar, about it. Solar, you're going to have to have solar panels across your whole roof to run your whole house. And they're horrible, and they ruin yeah. your roof, too. Yeah, and mm -hmm. and then you can get, nowadays, you can get battery backup to solar, and mm -hmm. it, it, on a on a day that there's no sun, or at night, or I don't know, whenever there's no sun, and the solar mm -hmm. panels aren't generating power, you use the battery. The battery uh, converts what you've back saved to up. Converts what back to alternating up. current. And, oh, AC, uh, DC, that kind of thing? Yeah, it converts. It's a DC battery, and it converts mm -hmm. to alternating current, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, A friend of mine, you know, when the whole shit hit the fan in Texas, you know, mm -hmm. a very good friend of mine and his family, they had a Tesla roof, and they had the Tesla battery wall, and they were the only ones in their neighborhood out of 400 and something odd people mm -hmm. that had power. Wow. And and on top of uh, top of that, at one point uh, yep. they did a countdown, and the whole house was launched into space. <laughs> is... No, I think electric's the way to go with cars and everything too. Yeah. But I'm still on the fence, you know, well, waiting to see if everybody can hear. Where are you located? Oh me? Yeah, He's New Jersey. Oh, lousy New Jersey. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. I'm yeah. sorry. Thank you, uh, everybody, for being here tonight, uh, Scott. Great having you here, uh, uh, Alan. Great having you here, Brian. Lovely having you here in that little uh, cameo by Adrian. Yeah. <laughs> um, you know, we should use her to like get get money for poor kids. You know, just have her <laughs> give that look. Uh, You're so cruel. What do you mean? Why am I, I cruel? Mean, she's a good-looking little girl. I know, wanna... I know, but she, you she's could... so pretty. Yeah. Why don't you? Why don't you take that pop-up thing off your thing and put a nice picture of her up? Why don't you go fuck yourself? <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's tired of the burnt toast. Okay, thank you very much, Trucker Steve. Thank you, Charlie. I always appreciate you being here. Uh, Jeff, good having yeah. you here. Uh, 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 Always like having uh, Tony here because he's good for comedy relief. Charlene, <laughs> great having you here. Of course, Kathleen, what can I say? I love seeing your face on this program. And, of course, uh, the uh, ever-popular... Uh, what name are you using? I, oh, you're just using John Larkin. He was using <laughs> phony names for a while. Anyway, everybody, give a big wave goodbye, and we'll uh, we'll see you again uh, probably, hopefully tomorrow night. I'll wave goodbye at you as well. There they go. That's our citizen panel. 
Uh, that's it for tonight for the Citizen Panel. Jack Bishop is next with the intersection over most of the same gap net. Uh, you can call him by using Skype and using the, uh, the uh, uh, sign-on. Uh, the place to call into is GabNet Live, okay? Just put GabNet Live in your Skype and then it'll just call him. Give him a call. I'll see you tomorrow night, okay? Same time, same station in life. And always, as always, as I say, if you see her, tell her I love her. And by the way, still wear a mask. Get that vaccination and take care of yourself and be safe. See you tomorrow. Bye.